Welcome back to our Divine Feminine Update for the week. Yes, we cover this content weekly and you can get it ahead of the crowd in the Members Hub. Thank you to the Members for pointers. Ooh, that was a bit of a tongue twister. Thanks to the Members for supporting us. It is what helps us produce this content week in, week out. Okay, what do I see coming through for you guys this week? Okay, there's a lot of thought. And look, this could be because of Neptune. Um, you've got the uh, reflection here. I do, I do see some of you really feeling, okay, um, you know, it, was this all a dream? There could be something really positive coming through for you guys this week. And I feel you're about to enter into a new vortex. Some of you could be taking a very realistic standpoint where it comes to love, but you're also having the courage in the heart. And I do feel um, the card is really asking you to go into your heart space. A lot of times when we feel disillusioned, um, we can feel, you know, that second guessing. Are we on the right track? Are we on the right path? There could be a behavioral pattern, especially for those of you in communication that you're taking on in a more realistic standpoint. And I also feel, I'm going to pull a chakra card because I don't know why I'm getting almost that there could be some information coming to you and you might look at it more um, realistically. Yeah, you're going to say something from a different perspective. Something's coming into your sight. I feel in the um, context of your twin flame path, <clears throat> there's a shift in perspective. I, I do feel some of you could hit a, a wall, um, especially as Neptune goes retrograde. It's kind of like this moment where we directly are seeing things. It's almost like solutions are going to be given to us. We're going to um, want the realism. We're going to be um, finding solutions to these problems that we're having. I do feel there's going to be some sense of a conversation. So this reflection is going all the way back, you know. This is all to do with distortion, disillusionment. Could there be a dark portal? Yes. And I really do advise this week, you know, psychic protection, tumbline, onyx. I'll go into that within the joint connection. But I'm really seeing here spiritually at the moment, you're highly psychic and highly susceptible. There is a moment in time that you could get to a point that you are thinking maybe you're off path. But it is particularly because you're going to be very realistic. You're going to become very 3D. And this could somehow in your axis make you feel that um, maybe you've been going about things in the incorrect way. Maybe you've been looking at this incorrectly. But it is just because Neptune is going retrograde. I, I do see it's especially, you know, where we're looking to the past position here, there's communication. And I think, you know, some of you could actually be having this person coming in really telling you how much they love you. Others of you, there could be um, really just wanting to have a sign, really just wanting to have a conversation. And now I kind of feel as though it's changing. It's going to that next level. It's like you actually directly want this forward movement. Three cards fell out. What are they? I don't know. Four. Okay. Now, in the Enchanted Forest in reverse. Yeah, this is to do with your twin flame path. This is the stages you've been going through. Very common for you to get to the crowning energy of, is this real? Was it a codependent partnership? Am I the karmic? Is this going to happen? Is it going to move? I do feel most of you that have been on the journey a lot longer, especially those of you that follow me, get the tips and know how to deal with the transits and the ascension process. There's a spiritual path here and there's a reason why karmics come into our lives. Um, there is a union um, coming in and it's very close, but there is this portal that you're going through at this point. You don't know how to fix it, but that could be because it's something on their side of the fence that they're going through. Yeah, you're wanting your happiness back. You're wanting your happiness. You're wanting your vibration. In general, you could be happy. Um, some of you also could know that divine masculine is unhappy. Um, you're also wondering when this ascension process is going to end. Yet again, I'm getting the home. I'm getting, you know, coming home to self. 
there's something around tribe and family at this point. And again, this could be your perspective or surrounding divine masculine. This could be a portion. It's almost like, you know, um, wanting to have some space between these individuals. And I feel these ones would be more karmic individuals than, you know, healthy individuals that I'm tuning into here. I do feel there's going to be something that's actually going to clear the deck for you. I do feel you've been going through personal changes. This could have been in your career. It might have been in your mindset and your social surroundings. I definitely feel communication coming in. I do feel something in your path is being cleared for you. Especially towards any karmic situations within tribe and family, they can come back up again. This might have um, eventuated last week. You could be having a very candid conversation with a family member. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're wanting space. I think you're wanting space to be able to have this. You are spiritually believing that things can change. They're making reference to 2020. Um, there could have been something that was going on way back when. This could be an association and, and relationship to your twin flame path, but they're making reference to how much you have changed, especially if you're going into the vortex of, you know, feeling quite disillusioned. It's like, how far actually have I come on this journey? Has anything changed? There is a great deal of healing that we do go through prior to reunion, and I do feel Divine Feminine is very close here. I'm also feeling it's very natural to get to a space where you're thinking of the evolution of the connection. And again, I'm saying threes. There is something to do with a higher point that you are reaching, but also the requirement that you are wanting someone who is um, quite adult, able to communicate, able to, um, yeah, build with you really. Some of you are saying, especially if Divine Masculine has had any financial restraints, you're sort of looking at it and saying, okay, you know, when is this rebuild happening? When is this evolution and this portal and this door opening? I do feel you have the deepest spiritual understanding, especially if you have gone through a similar circumstance that your twin flame has. But they're also asking you not to second guess the position and the person of who you are. Because I do feel you're directly underestimating who you are and, the, and what capacity you have to make this happen, especially within your own life. There is a lot of changes. You know, these changes, although sometimes change um, and, you know, the ascension and pain that we go through, we sort of say to ourselves, you know, what was this all for? You're definitely going to be lighter. And you definitely, you know, your work that you've done on yourself is going to pay in full rewards. You just don't quite see it at the time. And I think a lot of you are trusting that and you're, um, you know, you're really embracing this new vibration of who you are. Some of you can be a little bit scared and it can feel like a soul walking. I see divine feminines. There's a pocket group of you that are just really wanting to connect into bliss and happiness. You're wanting to um, shake up the status quo of this connection. You're not wanting to keep in the old vibration. You're not wanting to keep in the past. You're wanting to be open. Um, you know, you're really looking and saying, look, I can't keep looking back at this. I can't keep um, living in delusion. And I don't think it's like you are. I feel the ascension process can be quite heavy. So you're trying to get out of your head. You're trying to move into your heart space. And I would say <coughs> there's head and heart decisions here. I do feel there's something in the path that was blocking. And I think it's about high heart chakra. Look at this perfection. We have the butterfly just over the higher heart chakra chiron. They're asking you to come back to your heart space. I do see that many of you are going to find out or see a perspective. 
I've also been shown reference to the fact that you may be aware of a circumstance that your twin is going through and you have your own personal opinion of how that should be handled. It's very frustrating for you. I do feel um, there's a bit of a trigger that's coming up with Divine Masculine with you at the moment and they feel you're changing so rapidly. They actually don't recognise you at this point. They, they feel you've changed so much. They do feel at times it's unpredictable. That's not in a bad way, though. It's just in a, I have seen Divine Feminine evolve. You also feel in relationship to the, um, oh, okay, interesting. They're asking you to protect your aura. There's someone trying to tap into your energy. Be careful in tuning into the karmic. If you are looking at any karmic reads, you know, if you find that vibration very heavy, always, you know, kind of clear your head. The way you can do that is by thinking of something else for about 20 seconds to 20 minutes, drinking fluid. You can use a smudge stick and just, you know, do it directly over the crown chakra. But I do directly see this shifting. Okay, some of you, both parties here in the mix are wanting to see each other. But you're, you're actually, I'm getting a statement piece and it sort of feels like divine feminine, especially for those of you, um, in, even if you're not in communication, they're really saying, you're wanting to see some physical movement forward. You're ready to move forward in life. You're ready to start building your life in a, a you know, a brand new way. You're taking your power back. Because you feel living in the stagnation is actually causing lack of, um, I wouldn't say lack of security. Definitely something to do with family this week. I feel it's more on the karmic third party side. There's a foundation that's crumbling away. You can see it happening um, some of you don't be surprised if family members start acting a little bit strict. There could be a lot of conflict. I do feel it's a spiritual test for you to stand up for your beliefs. I do see you finally choosing your own personal path and I feel, yeah, it's almost like choosing the twin flame path or choosing, um, you know, and choosing twin flame path is choosing us. So in choosing that and choosing what is correct for you, I do feel your guides are trying to give you signs and synchronicities. Somebody may be trying to get you to second guess this and it's seeping into your aura. I definitely feel a little bit of black magic coming from the karmic third party. So I would be very careful about that because they're feeling how something is shifting within the joint connection. And this is directly triggering them. You may feel quite down. You might have felt quite fine and then it comes in out of nowhere. That is a key sign of a psychic attack. And you could be embodying this person's demeanor. There are people talking about you, Divine Feminine. Haters be haters. Just block it out, block the white noise out because there's nothing that is going to come in between the both of you. Love and light, I will check in with you next week. Don't be surprised if you get some information coming from your counterpart. I do feel for a lot of you there is a potential of a major conversation, but definitely you're sending your signature to your guides and I do feel that you have passed a karmic test. Through this, I do believe there is a potential of going up a level you may hold on to the old. If you do want a personal booking, you can go to the link directly below. Otherwise, come through and join our members super chat once a month. That also covers any coaching and blockages that you may have coming up. Take care, beautifuls, and I'll see you soon.